What's happening boys and girls? It's your boy Tom's once again bringing you another ARC video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer Pteranodons from Scorched Earth to the island and vice versa, whatever you plan to do. But first if you could smash that like button whilst we're ahead and make sure to subscribe if you're new here. I really appreciate that we got a lot of likes on the previous video, around 70 likes and it's still growing so I really appreciate that guys and if you could carry on doing that that would be fantastic. But anyway, I'm going to show you what you're going to do to get your Pteranodons across servers. Okay, so firstly, once you're flying around on your Pteranodon, uh, this is obviously on Scorched Earth. I have transferred this Pteranodon over here. Well, this was bred over here, actually. But this is the same way. So imagine we're on the island right now, and I could simply fly over to this supply drop over here. A lot of people have been saying, oh, we need to go to an obelisk, which is this massive thing over here. Um, but as you can see, this obelisk is well and truly blocked off by turrets etc so if you're playing on an official server like me um, you cannot like it's, unless you're the art the alpha tribe here which I'm not um, you know I can't get there there's turrets blocking it all off there's no way for me to get into that so I simply go up to supply drop and some yes may be blocked off by turrets but that's more or less just bases uh, some may be tried like on a platform high up so you can't reach it but more than often more often than not there's gonna be one free like this one so um, the first thing you want to do is you're gonna to want to take the saddle off your pteranodon and I'm gonna pump stamina into mine quickly make sure there's nothing in the inventory that you want to keep because it will delete everything you're gonna go up to the supply drop press E on it and then you're gonna click creatures you'll see your pink nug which is my pteranodon here you're gonna click on that and click this upload creature button It'll tell you, are you sure you want to upload this creature's data? This will lead to destroying your creature and losing all its inventory. It doesn't actually destroy the creature. Well, it, it removes the creature from this server. As you can see, the creature is now, if you check here, in my upload tamed creatures, and it's no longer there. Um, once you've uploaded your creature, you have 24 hours to re-upload it or re-download it to another server. Uh, or I could simply re-download this server, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to show you what you do to download it onto another server. So I'm going to travel to another server. Quickly travel to another server. You can travel to any server uh, on this list that pops up here. And I will show you what to do once you are on that server. Okay, so as you can see, I am back on the island, on my island base. Uh, so we are relatively large here as well. Um, and as you can see, airdrops are spawning in over in the distance over there. So we're going to head over to them airdrops and show you exactly what to do. This works obviously the same as if I wanted to go on Scorched Earth and transfer, I could do the exact same thing. So I could tame a Pteranodon here or bring a Pteranodon from here over to Scorched Earth. But I'm just doing it the other way as the Pteranodons that I personally own are currently on Scorched Earth. And once you upload something from another server, it's a 12 hour cooldown to return it or re-upload it and download it on another server. So you have to bear that in mind when you're uploading things. Don't upload things that you're not going to be able to keep safe for more than 12 hours. Okay, so as you can see, I've made it to another airdrop right here. Um, this is on top of a vault, but since the vault resized, you would never be able to reach this before, but with the new resized vaults, you can easily reach this. And you're going to simply go into the inventory, click the creatures tab. As you see, it's pink nug again, level 237 Pteranodon that I uploaded previously from the Scorched Earth server, and download the creature. You'll see it's in the nearby creatures, but I can't upload this again, I don't think. Nope, you can't do it, you see. If I click upload, that doesn't work. I'm not sure where the cooldown is. It used to say there's a cooldown. Um, I'm not sure if it's in the inventory of it, actually, but you can simply put the saddle back on it. It still transfers all the same stats, 97% imprinting, all the same health, stamina, etc., etc., and that's perfectly fine you simply get on your pteranodon and fly back to base easy as that anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you could smash 15 likes in this video in fact no let's push it to 20 we got over 70 on the last video uh, so if you could push 20 likes that would be greatly appreciated and hope you had a nice day don't forget to subscribe like and comment what you think about the video if you need any help feel free to ask in the comments too and I will see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace out.